Defense. Defense. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about defense. And when I talk defense, it's not sports defense. We're talking about defensive stocks. Stocks that are basically involved in defense. So we're talking about my top five defense dividend paying stocks. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, defense stocks are one sector that a lot of people overlook because most people, you're focusing on tech and focusing on banking, uh, you're focusing on travel, you're focusing on the things that are hot. Uh, but defensive stocks are stuff that a lot of people don't really talk about. So you have to really know what you're doing to identify these stocks. So I've actually put together my top five defensive stocks that do pay dividends. Um, and, and so we're gonna go through them and then I'll kind of just show you which ones I have in my portfolio and uh, where these stocks are going. And again, I like defensive stocks for two main reasons. Number one is that they're paying dividends because I love dividends. Number two is that most of these stocks are companies that are work directly with the government, the military, um, uh, uh, aerospace, and all these other uh, sectors that are really um, money generating. So you know for sure that when the government invests in, let's say, defense, they don't even mess around. They put in a ton of money. As a matter of fact, again, I'm not trying to get political here um, but this is the one area as far as defense that I've seen both sides of the aisle um, D's and R's come together they agree on spending money on defense so um, I know for sure a lot of these companies will always they would be around and they've, a lot of them have been around for years and they continue to grow and do good. So uh, let's jump in and take a look at my top five. So again, guys, top five dividend stocks or top five defense dividend stocks. So first one on the list is Lucky Martin. Ticket symbol LMT. Um, so currently, uh, they currently pay a dividend yield of 2.42. Um, share price as of when I was doing this video is three hundred and ninety eight dollars and forty four cents um, Their previous 42 uh, 52 week high is four hundred and forty two dollars. So um, not so much a, a, a Deviation from their 42 week high. I mean the a lot of these companies went through the virus thing uh, But I think lucky is actually covered up a little bit. So um, but the, um, the annual dividend is nine dollars and six cents, which is Excellent. So again, the stock price is not really uh, uh, favorable, but again, if you are going in, um, and again, if you can get into um, some of some of these companies or some of these brokers that you can buy fractional shares, this would be something to put in your portfolio. Um, and again, um, do your research, guys, before you invest. This is just my personal opinion. Number two is um, L3 Harris ticket symbol. LHX um, again dividend yield is 1.76 um, share prices when I was doing this video was um, was a uh, $196.73 52 week high is $230 technically $231 and annual dividend of $3.40 so um, these are these are definitely really um, good companies and uh, one of the things is just just to kind of uh, give you guys some context as to what these companies do um, L3 Harry's um, really it's it, what I call it's a technology company that focuses on aerospace and defense technology um, I mean they, they, they engage in the provision of defense and uh, commercial technology across air land and sea um, and even cyberspace so they are everywhere um, that you see them they, they have all these different uh, uh, areas that they have products um, to suit their customers so which is which is great um, and we, we, we just we just talked about um, uh, lock in Martin is they do the same thing so if you talk about global security and aerospace um, you know, research, design, development, manufacturing, integration um, of technology systems, you know, especially in, in, in aerospace, which is awesome. So I, that's why I, I kind of like uh, what we have here um, as, as Alice. 
So um, let's move on to number three. Number three is ticker symbol NOC. Um, again, this is um, a company that engages in the provision of security businesses. Um, it includes products, systems, and solutions in um, autonomous system, um, cyber command, control, communication, computers, intelligence, surveillance, um, a, a bunch of different things. So uh, there are a range of products that or, or uh, systems that they provide is just endless. Um, right now, um, dividend is 1.69. Share price is $342.73. Um, 52 week high is $385. So not too far from their 52 week high. But again, what I'm seeing here is uh, if these stocks have gone through this uh, virus thing and they already bounced back to where they are right now, I'm anticipating that these uh, guys are going to break 400 just like that. Um, annual dividends again is $5.80, which is awesome. So um, that's number three. Let's move on to number four. Number four for a lot of you guys that have been watching my channel um, is um, uh, ticker symbol RTX, Radiant Technology, because I've talked about them here on the channel a lot. Um, which is after the, the merger with uh, UTX, um, it just it just became like this really hot stock that I, I'm anticipating big things from them. I'm anticipating a ton of growth. So this stock, uh, the fact that the paid dividends is awesome, and then the fact that there's a lot of opportunity for growth because of after that merger with UTX, it's just um, it just makes them like what I call appetizing for from an investor. So Radiant Technology, they, they, again, they engage um, in provision of aerospace uh, defense systems for, let's say, commercial, for the military, and for the government. So those are, here their customers. When you hear about the military, you hear about the government, um, I mean, some of the commercial, I would say that's number three. Military and government, you know you can't go wrong because the budget is always there. Suddenly, if you can, when was the last time they cut military budget? It's, it's always going up because you can't mess with it. Like I said, um, that's the only part where I've seen uh, Washington agree on spending on the military, which is good for me as an investor, um, but not good for me as a taxpayer. So um, I'll just leave it at that. Um, number five is General Dynamics. Um, again, this is if you can look here, we see uh, ticker symbol is GD. Company name is General Dynamics and dividend yield of 2.92, share price of uh, $148 and some change as to when I was doing this video. Um, 52 week high is 193 and 76 cents. So um, annual dividend is four dollars and forty cents. And the reason why I, I put that the 52 week there is just to kind of give you um, an idea as to where the stock is at and where it's heading. So if we're talking about 148 dollars um, to 193 dollars, so that that is technically just about um, a 50 dollar spread right there for you in terms of growth. Um, and while you're getting that growth and your dividends is also coming in um, um, along the way. So that is something to consider. And General Dynamics too is the same thing. They um, aerospace and defense company they, they provide uh, something like missiles and rockets and submarines and warship. I mean, like just here, all the things that they build um, tells me this is uh, really a good place uh, to be. So again, if you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest, and how to build wealth. So if that's really something that you care about, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because it does help us rank here on YouTube and also so that you don't miss out on a new video. So those are my top five defense uh, um, dividend paying stocks. So question of the day, guys, what do you think about that list? Is it like, hey, Mr. V, that list is not um, uh, complete. There's some other companies that I think should make that list. Hey, definitely share those in the comment section. Those are mine. What are yours? And uh, do you have any of these uh, stocks in your portfolio? If yes, which one and how are they doing? Um, for my case, again, like I said, I have Radiant Technology. That is for sure. I have Lock E Martin. That's for sure because I love them. Um, I picked up some uh, L3 Harris. Um, right now, General Dynamics, I don't have them um, in my portfolio as well as... Um, 
um, NOC, I don't have them in my portfolio. Um, you don't have to invest in all of these five companies. If you can invest in one or two, at least you know you've covered the, that sector, you've covered the defense sector. And again, reason why I like that sector is because of who the, your clients are. When your client is the government and the military, you know for sure business is guaranteed. That's just something that happens. So that's my take. Um, again, before you invest in these companies, do your own personal research. Um, so like, share, subscribe. Um, YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys watching haven't already subscribed to my channel. So if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, guys. And as always, stay motivated.